In this video, we'll build onto a dashboard we created earlier. We'll add interactivity through filters, actions, and highlighting. Filters are a powerful way to exclude or view just a portion of our data. To create a filter, first select the sheet you wish to filter. Then, select the caret in the upper right hand corner and choose Quick Filter. Select the field you want to filter by. In this case, let's filter by sport. The filter will appear on the dashboard and can be used to control what data appears on that view. The filter itself can be modified by clicking on the caret in the upper right hand corner. Tableau has several different filter types, but they fall into two main categories. Single selections that only allow one value. These include a full list of all values, a more compact drop-down list, or a slider, and multiple selections where more than one item can be chosen. These include the default full value list, a drop-down checkbox list, or two variations of a search box. The custom list, which lets you type and then choose your selection, or wildcard match that will choose all values matching your phrase. Once we have picked the filter we want to use, we can extend its reach to other sheets or views. This is done from the drop-down caret by selecting Apply to Worksheets. Here, you'll have three options. You can make the filter apply to all worksheets that use the same data set, in this case, all the views, or you can make the filter apply to just the one view that it was created from, or pick and choose exactly which views you want it to apply to. This is helpful when you want to keep your time series or line chart from being filtered. Along with quick filters, we can also use an entire sheet as a filter. In this case, let's allow our user to select a country on the map and have that act as a filter for both our tree map and histogram. Let's build this filter by selecting our map, clicking the caret, and then choosing the Use as Filter option. Now, when we choose Australia on the map, we see just the data for medals and athletes from that country. We can fine tune our filters by going to the dashboard menu and selecting actions. We now see our map filter and can edit its functionality. We can adjust which sheets will act as filters and which sheets those filters will affect. In this case, only our map is filtering, but it affects all of our sheets. We can make further adjustments, such as when the filter will be activated, as well as what will happen when the filter is cleared. An alternative to filters, which remove data, is highlighting, which keeps all of the data and highlights just the information the user selects. Let's take a look at this on another dashboard. In this example, we see a map of all the countries that have won medals, and below that, a bar chart showing the sports in which those medals have been awarded. We can enable highlighting by selecting the Highlight pen and choosing what we wish to highlight. In this case, let's choose all fields. Now when we select silver, we can see all of the countries that have won silver medals. When we choose a particular sport and medal type, we now see the countries that won those medals in that discipline. With highlighting, we're still able to see the rest of the countries and the relative number of medals they have won, but the highlighting helps us focus on our selection. And just like with filters, we're able to fine tune our highlight actions by going to dashboard and editing the highlight action. To see how additional actions can be applied to dashboard elements, including external web pages, please watch our video on dashboard elements.